How do you know if something you read on the internet is real with all the AI bullshit and it was posted recently? AI has a tendency to follow the same pattern if you notice. The same outline, topic titles are unreal and they always use conclusion at the end. The same way people did before AI. Fact check. Corroboration. I'll ta ixa it but says nothing lf you were asking it to give advice, it why roman to give exact e the same genuine s as tarot card readers and fortunate i ears dot lt can't be specify a doubt anything re aided to human socia i interactions. One interesting thing is my local country's sub hasn't had much of an issue with it. I guess ais can't code switch yet. Nothing's real on the internet. Always consider the source. Is it a story from the Associated Press, with a byline or is it a block of clickbait articles lined up at the bottom of a page? If you don't already trust, or can't verify how trustworthy the source is, consider it a rumor at best. Resources like Media Bias Facts Checkups colon MediaBizFactCheck.com can help you decide whether to trust certain sites. You don't have to take a stance on everything you see on the internet. You can just ignore a lot of it. The internet has been full of bullshit and trolls since it was just a link between universities. Bots are more recent, but Spot the Bot has been a thing for 10-15 years now. Basically don't instantly believe everything you read, if it's important enough for future decisions or whatever, cross-reference. If it's not that important assume it's entertainment until it's important enough to cross-ref. I realized that the older people have extremely weak intuition in discerning AI from actual footage. It's just eye skill, honestly, which our generation was born with. And if you know a lot about a person that the AI video was made about, you can critically judge whether or not that person would actually say that. There's an old saying, don't believe anything you read and only half of what you see. Of course cross-referencing and reputable sources go a long way. I questioned and checked everything before AI. People used to laugh at me for having such trust issues, but the joke is on them now. I seriously worry we are in for a world of hurt. Verify the credibility of the source and look for independent corroboration. This has really changed. Hey, I have a letter signed by a hundred scientists refuting climate change. Great. 63 of those scientists are economists, and in fact only 10 of them actually have a background vaguely relevant to climate science at all. Six of those claim their name was added without their consent or knowledge. Two of the others are widely no cranks. Start with the assumption that it's BS until you can prove otherwise Twitter, FB bullshit. Mainstream news orgs, a grain of salt. Official press releases horse's mouth, okay it's probably true, but there will be nuance. AI isn't very good at writing, so critical thinking should get you there. I know this is about writing, but I'm an artist and can easily pick out AI images, whether they are stealing from art or photographs. They tend to look overly glossy, but are bad at small details, get anatomy wrong, lighting is off, people look uncanny or their eyes look weird. For AI images of architecture, there's a lot of impossible things like stairs that lead to nowhere, porches with no door access, it gets window panes wrong a lot and windows aren't lined up correctly, kitchen cabinets have handles all in different places, ovens don't have the correct number of knobs, and lots of random little shelves floating around. For writing I find that AI tends to sound almost like a high schooler's essay, with a clear beginning, middle, and a conclusion. Also they are wordy as hell, just like when a kid is trying to fill out the word count for their essay. When a real person writes something, I can usually detect there's something of a personality by the way the person writes. With AI it's very bland and well artificial. By using a frame of reference, you can't if you're a dum-dum https colon safeneforum.org gentle person ask guide to forum spice 30,059. At a certain point, meeting and talking to a person face to face would be only real thing left. Institutional journalism. There's a reason why outlets like AP and Reuters haven't been dragged into the culture war soapboxing of mainstream media bad. They've made their reputations on being the place to go for reporting vs telling the story. That's the fun part. You don't. There are some telltale signs that something is AI made. So if you see those, you can dismiss it as AI. But not seeing those signs doesn't mean it's not AI. It could just be better AI that doesn't make those same mistakes.